Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Reflections with Val. It's your host, Sophie underscore Val. I'm very comfortable in the comfort of Jersey Media Studios. You guys already know, been partnered with them since my first episode, and now here we are in my second uh, year. It's been a great run. I thought I was going to leave Jersey Media, came back, and, you know, life life is crazy. Life is a roller coaster. You know, we don't have it all planned out. We kind of just figure it out along the way, and this is what the show welcomes. It's pure transparency, pure honesty. We're humble, open, and transparent, as my favorite speaker says, hot. Humble, open, and transparent. It's about being related getting away from the perfections of social media and this world and what it pushes on us and for us to just be authentically ourselves express our authentic emotions and what we're going through it's just very important to be in that headspace for yourself because you deserve it you deserve to give yourself self-love you deserve to give yourself support that you've never had before you shouldn't give up on that you know but welcome back whether you're walking whether you're riding your bike, on the way to work, taking the kids to school, whatever it is that you're doing right now in this moment, I wanna thank you because you guys chose to press play and listen on to Reflections with Val. Yes, yes, host, singer. Let me stop because it's not about me, you know what I'm saying, it's about you guys. But I, I really do hope that you started this week knowing something new about yourself that you didn't notice before had an awakening moment and if you didn't have an awakening moment it's still good to be aware of what you're emotionally going through even if it's nothing and you're feeling like blah it's still a feeling and it's important to be aware of what you're feeding yourself on a daily, right? Like, this is why we self-reflect together on this show. Hello. Because I'm not perfect. No one's perfect. We're all humans. And we have the same temptations, the same battles. They're just a slight different. And it, this show is to help open understand what we cannot understand, what we choose to not understand. Because I don't got time to think about it right now. Sounds like you're emotionally overwhelmed. And if you're emotionally overwhelmed, you're in the right destination. Because we're here to unpack all of the emotions you've just been surfacing and surfacing and gathering up like a mountain throughout your week, throughout your month. Let's say hell, throughout six months, throughout the whole year. Maybe 10 years, but you started and that is what matters. Welcome, welcome new listeners. Whether you're old listeners, you guys already know the energy never changes. And yeah, I mean, this week we're just going to, you know, just get it on on through. You know, first of all, I just want to say I'm sorry, guys, because I haven't been as consistent as I normally have been in the last two years of me, you know, potting and podcasting. And the reason why is just because I've been sick and I'm human. You know, I'm not invincible. I'm human. I've, I've been sick for the last weeks and some change. <laughs> I'm back for it. Thank God my mom works for the doctor, so I don't have to worry about all that. But yes, I came down with body ache and tonsillitis. I couldn't sing, speak, do nothing for at least two weeks. And that was God testing me right there, you know, because this is what I love to do. This is where I'm at. This is where I feel home. This is where I feel safe. And you're kind of, you're losing me here. I can't even practice or rehearse here, you know? So that's what I was, I was just a zombie. I was dead. And I just, I'm sharing this to say that you're not alone, creative or entrepreneur who owns their own business. You don't have to have a front that you got it all together 24 seven, because nine times out of 10 personal life, personal situations happen. And then it comes and it spoils over to our business and we can't help it. You know, we're not bulletproof out here. So let's stop acting like we are. But yeah, I just, I just couldn't juggle all of that all at the same time. Like being sick, taking care of Michelle, then trying to keep up with keeping up with Val. And then 
worrying about, oh, I got to do an episode. And it's like, I sat down with myself and I said, I think I'm doing too much. I think I got to really practice what I preach on reflections. And if, if, and if I'm getting overwhelmed right now and my body's crying out, I got to, I got to listen to it. I'm not invincible here. And I think my listeners and the people who supported me would understand if I take a break. And I did. I took a break because my health was more important. My emotional state was more important to make sure that I can deliver an episode for you guys every week on the same level and magnitude. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to half-ass deliver it. I want to make sure you guys have something to wait on for, to expect. And that's why I just wanted to explain that little hiatus. But let's just go on. Going on to current, you know. No, you know what? Let me just shout out. Shout out to all the people out here who are been working and grinding through the pandemic, working paycheck to paycheck and just sickness after sickness. You overcame, you conquered, and sis, you alive, brother, you up. Let's go and get this back together. But let's let's talk on what's going on in the news, cause this is this is go yeah, this is this is how I'm gonna start, you know, my my <laughs> my episodes now i'm just gonna start talk about what's happened this week and was hot and 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 fire and the latest and right now everybody's talking about what's going on with dave chappelle he just dropped his stand-up netflix really did a great deal with him after comedy central just fucked him all the way over and dave chappelle delivered a stand-up and a lot of people who you know are fans with his know how he runs he is known to be a comedic who does not hold back who is very cutthroat and that's just his style of humor and if you've noticed that and you've been a fan of his and you've been listening to him since the 90s you kind of were expecting him to be a little rough around the edges as well well the one community that didn't really appreciate what he was saying was the LGBT community because he was very raw and very forward in how and in what he feels towards the LGBT community. And, you know, some people just called him out and and a lot of Netflix, a lot of Netflix subscribers, a lot of NBC, ABC, Good Morning America gave so many calls to Netflix stating that they are they are impeding, excuse me, not impeding, but really pressing that Netflix takes this Dave Chappelle stand up down because it's offensive to the LGBT community. Cancel culture wants to win. Dave Chappelle is just doing his job. And I just wanted to say this because I don't know how much more is the media and entertainment companies going to deal with this with the cancel culture. Cancel culture, we're not going to cancel every time you speak up. We're tired of it. We're tired of accommodating and being nice to you. Do we understand that you are the audience and you guys are the listeners and you guys are the ones who are giving us our buck? Absolutely. But that doesn't mean that we got to bend to your every will. You hired us because you creatively want us to perform to our best (laughs) ability or magnitude or whatever. But then when we do that, you want to just complain? And I understand because I love my LGBT. I've been brought up in a performing arts high school. I've been, my best friend (laughs) is very fluid and gay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I understand. But if y'all know how Dave Chappelle is and y'all already knew he was, he, this is his humor, then what did you guys expect? Like, why get offended? At this point, you know his humor. At this point, you know what he's going to curve at. You know what he's going to approach on. So it was, just, it was just really just unnecessary for me. But I feel you. You know, Dave Chappelle, you are raising awareness on us being humans before we were even in this cancel culture community. And being human is that we can hold an opinion and you cannot agree with it. And you can be offended by that opinion, but the opinion was already stated. There's no way that you can revert the opinion back. (laughs) I know it just gives us the cancel culture power and human rights power, but we want to talk about real human rights. We want to talk about what's really going on in the pandemic and how the government is trying to control us with these vaccines. If you want to talk about real human rights, but they want to over here distract you with Netflix and all this entertainment BS to dress it up over it. But you know, we don't even got to go over there, but let's just move on to the next one, okay? <laughs> Shit. But, um, 
a major announcement. My favorite, one of my favorite producers, because there's a couple. One of my favorite artists, producer, drummer, singer, rapper, Anderson Pack. I don't know if you guys know. He is doing a deal with Bruno Mars where they're both calling themselves Silk Sonic and they just announced their album release date. Can we give it up? Yes. Hey, they're coming in hot. Coming in hot. Let me stop. No, but the album release is November 14th. And I am beyond excited. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's the 12th. I don't know why I put the 14th. That's crazy. That is crazy because I was on it and I even reshared it. I even reshared it on Reflections. You know what I'm saying? Because I was on it, on the money. Yes, November 12th. Let's get it. Let's get it. A couple things I'm looking forward towards in this album a lot of funk. A lot of grooviness, a lot of unexpected transitions because that's how Anderson Pack produces. Now, I know that Bruno Mars is producing this album, and Bruno Mars is very much pressed, preen, permed out, and very perfect and cookie cutter when it comes down to his production. So it will be interesting seeing them two kind of work. I'm kind of tired of seeing Anderson Pack sing in all of the songs. Brother, I love your singing, but. If you a true Anderson Pack fan, you also love his bars spitting side, his rapping, getting gritty, you know? That's how we want him to be sometimes. So I just miss that side of Anderson, and I honestly haven't heard it in this album. And quite frankly, in these last three songs that they dropped, they haven't dropped the album. So I just hope that when they do drop the album, you don't you don't hold back, Anderson. And you better tell Bruno Mars to sit down when you rapping because... That's that's your fort, bro. That is your forefront. Don't hold back because this is an old school, new school kind of wave. Bootsy Collins is on this. You know what I'm saying? You can't you can't spit not not spit a bar. Like you gotta spit a bar, Anderson. Like I'm just waiting on it. You know. Next up, Adele, another beast. Ooh. Adele is coming back, motherfuckers. The neo soul and R&B world cannot be tamed. We cannot be tamed, you know? It's just, it's been some time, you know? It's been since, hold on, I just gotta, I just gotta t- reiterate to you guys how long it's been since Adele actually had an album release. Not a single, but an album 2015. 2015? Say my love to your little heaven. She a better. That was the last album we heard of Adele, okay? 2015. We needed this, Adele. Why you waited this long? Actually, I understand because I've been a true Adele fan since before she was she was on the rolling in the deep, before she was on the tur- turning tables. Since before she was on turning tables, you feel me? Like I was chasing pavements, cold shoulder, hometown glory Adele fan. Like Britain only knew about her and I was on her. You know what I mean? Like she wasn't even anything yet. You know, like, so anyways, so besides the point, I've been waiting for Adele to come out with something, and she gave us a little teaser, she released it on her, on her Instagram, and you guys are gonna see, like, it was just everything, like, the, even the, the intro, and how old school and vintage it was, and how she was just gracefully in her car, still boldly and classic, and, and just her, like, oh. Just and then you just instantly heard a piano in the background. I'm like, mm, she about to start the next five years of heartbreak. I feel it. And you know what? When Cheek drops that album, you know I'm gonna do a review on this show. You know I'm gonna be sharing all my favorites, just like Jasmine Sullivan. Because when Jasmine Sullivan came out, I was like, oh yeah, see, I girl, I girl. 
Now, the last announcement I want to say is that there is a local artist. You guys are going to hear him on my show when he does release this. On October 22nd, he is releasing his album. It's been over two years or a year that I've heard him release an album. He's done singles in between. He is a local artist in Jersey. Goes by Young Benny. Has a feature with Two Surf. You know what I'm saying? Just got to give a shout out out there. And um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to it because I just feel like he geared to always evolving and always changing to his last project and making sure it was better. And I feel like there's not a lot of artists that do that out there. They just are artists for what comes with that name, which is attention and women and men and it just you just got to be careful out there you know you can easily get catfished into a position or hiring someone honestly (laughs) but another person who dropped a project too that's a part of the local gang Stephen Darnell my brother you are talented love the whole album and the project and I'm actually going to share his song called survival moon in our music therapy segment that's how much he touched me, you know, and I just, I just wanted to share it with the, um, the world. <laughs> so yeah, on to better now that we uh, already got that out the way. Thank you. That's all the news for this week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now on to pressing more things and why you guys are actually in and on my show, right? I wanted to talk about a topic that my holistic psychologist that I love so much, Nicole, you are a blessing. You are an amazing goddess. I love you. But yeah, I wanted to talk about emotional struggles and someone who's out there facing emotional struggles. How do you know you have trouble expressing how you feel and What are the signs and how to cope and how to get out of that little gunk? Because you guys always know and you guys already know where this is going to go. Whatever you suffer from or, or have a coping mechanism from or the habits you carry always lead and trail right back down to the root cause of it. And a lot of the root causes of it always stem from your home. And how you were brought up, how you were raised, your parents, your aunt, uncle, cousins. It stems from there. And we all like to just pretend that it's not that, but it is. So, why you struggle with emotions and saying what you feel. One, the way we relate to and express our emotions is taught through our earliest relationships with parent figures. I just elaborated and stated that if our parent figures don't provide a space to openly express and work through our emotional states we don't know how to process difficult emotions I'm going to repeat that if our parent figures don't provide a space to openly express slash work through our emotional states We don't know how to process our difficult emotions. 100% agree with that. 100%. If you were never given the ability to just sit in by yourself and just feel out what you feel because we're not supposed to feel things in society. And a lot of cultures, especially the Hispanic and African-American culture, as well as Caribbean cultures, we really implement that in our culture. We don't want people to show weakness and expressing our emotion and being open and vulnerable to what we feel in the present time or in a certain situation or with our family member and how they acted towards us is a way for us and people who who's who who, this is considered and you were brought up in, in, in and showing emotion is being considered a sign of vulnerability if we show our vulnerability we're now ashamed because our family always made fun or held us back from expressing how we felt in in that situation or in that matter in life, that later on in the future, we kind of still bring that same shame. 
when we we aren't even in that same family dynamic anymore. Maybe we we're living in our own apartment and and maybe we have a kid of our own. Now we're bringing that over because we never dealt with it and never acknowledged it or had to sit down with yourself to say, hey, this isn't normal. I know it seemed normal, but now that I'm an adult and I'm seeing how families are around me and I'm seeing that families don't move that way, it's not normal. Acknowledge that that is a trait that you don't have to now partake on forward. There's things, remember, in my previous episodes I talk about this, there are things that have been put on you that you have to now detect and there's things that you've chosen to put on yourself. And unpacking emotions, you have to be unafraid to be unapologetically real with yourself no matter how much the truth hurts it's also a matter of finding a balance to not mixing the self-honesty with self-sabotage and just knowing that that's all you knew you can forgive yourself And whatever stages or steps you need to do to forgive yourself for that specific category or that specific department in your life, take whatever time you need. There is no rush. There's no one that should be rushing you. A true friend would be there by your side, helping you along the way as your support system. If you do not have that, I encourage people to do AAA meetings, go to community counseling centers and just try to find a common ground with someone out there because you are not the only one going through that okay I, I just really want us to feel like we're united community you know we're, we're in a connection even though we're not together you know what I'm saying and how will you know if you're always trapped and stayed in the house you know it's just very like find a balance this is how we cope we cope by becoming highly reactive So if you struggle with emotional, with expressing your emotions, this is how you guys cope or or start becoming because the dysfunction and the overwhelming of, of not processing your emotions or having people acknowledge or validate how you feel or validate your experience, this is what goes on internally. You highly, you become highly reactive, lashing out at others and even yourself, shutting down, you start shutting down and dis isolating yourself. And then avoidance, the biggest, biggest one. Feeling anxious and avoiding any emotional intimacy. That, that includes if a partner wants to talk to you, but that, that spur up from the past starts coming up when she's like, hey, I want to talk. And you instantly just run away because you don't got time for that. That's called avoidance. <laughs> You're emotionally avoiding something that you know you need to tackle and address. That's also kind of gaslighting the other person that wants to talk to you. (laughs) It's just not a good feeling. Reactive parenting, a parent figure that copes with intense emotions by screaming, yelling, or physical abuse. We learn that our emotions can make people fly off the handlebars and that we are not safe to express our emotions. I agree. If you stated something, let's say you started expressing your emotions growing up as a child, but you had this definition of a reactive parent. Now every single time you express how you truly feel, you're afraid because your mom would always react to it by yelling, screaming, or literally physical abuse, as I stated. So your cognitive mind and, and how it's conditioned because of your your how you were raised is if I express how I feel, punishment and toxicity is going to follow after. And that, and I don't want to deal with that right now. So let me just not, let me avoid that. Let me just not say it at all so I won't deal with it. That's unhealthy. That's self-neglection. It's, it's also not feeling valued or heard in a relationship, regardless if it's a woman dating a man or if it's just mom, da- daughter. Like, I just feel like it's just not healthy. <laughs> no matter how many ways, how many how much you spin it denial parenting ooh this one i already feel like is going to go straight into gaslighting 
a parent figure that copes with intense emotions downplaying them. There is no reason to be upset. We become confused by what we are actually feeling and learn to not trust ourselves and what we experience. Gaslighting, just said it. If you don't know what gaslighting is, I'm going to need you to just go to my gaslighting episode because I did a whole breakdown on what that means, okay? Now, the rescue parenting. Ooh. Parent figure that... <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. This is, this is crazy. A parent figure that copes with intense emotions by immediately trying to fix them. I am going to call that coach and make sure he never <laughs> does that again. We learn our emotions overwhelm others and don't know how to hold space for people's emotions without trying to change them. Yeah, that's true. Like, let's say you just shared to your mom, like, what's going on with your coach, and she just goes off the rails without you consenting that. For her to go off the rails to the actual person that you had a dilemma with, but she does it anyways because she wants to protect. That sounds like a helicopter mom or dad. And honestly, would hold me from actually expressing how I feel or how a situation made me. And then I can see how that spoils over into my adulthood. Definitely. Because we don't want someone else handling our issues. If I express to you that this is how I felt on this issue, and now you're going to go ahead and you're going to just address it when I didn't consent that I'm gonna feel some type of way I'm gonna be like well who are you really you know loyal to me or yourself because it sounds like you're loyal to your pride you know I don't know just saying just isolated parenting a parent figure that copes with intense emotions by ignoring them and avoiding us when we have them we learn that it's better to just never express intense emotions or become the life of the party or having fun to be loved this one right here definitely deals with negligence growing up emotional negligence growing up and neglecting in the household so it's a mixture of both and I just feel like this is more of like unspoken trauma unspoken emotion in a household and I've been brought up in a household like that where we all know what happened but it's unspoken we're like don't talk about it it's in the past what happened in the past stays in the past and I'm just like I don't know I get that but I don't <laughs> you know what I mean like I think family therapy is there for that reason because a lot of us want to not open the closet door or what's behind the closet door because it's better for us to just this is how I view my little sister and this is how I'm going to view her and that's that but your little sister was molested by your cousin but your little sister dealt with emotional neglection but your little sister dealt with bullying but your little sister like there's a lot of things that we don't know about each other and I think a lot of our family members want to keep it that way because we don't want to see what's behind the curtain we don't want others to see what's behind the curtain because maybe we're not ready because we never processed that trauma because we didn't have proper emotional awareness examples but don't ever I'm gonna just let you guys know don't let that be your excuse I think this is that this is the episode reminding that person to not let your the way your family raised you, the way your traumas were in life. You didn't ask for them or whether you did ask for them or whether you didn't ask for them. It's not your fault. It really isn't. And and if it is, I hope you find the grace and the mercy with yourself that you won't self-sabotage yourself and that you'll just learn that situation just made you better and you you needed to do it because what was going to teach you a lesson earlier in life didn't really teach it to you so now in your adulthood you're learning it in a different way and that's why you clicked then and well now and not then and I think it's just a matter of understanding that don't be let's not be hard on ourselves you know let's practice that balance but Oh my goodness, that was such a good topic. And I absolutely love Nicole, the holistic psychologist that you guys can follow on IG for that because she really hammer on the nail. People definitely are out there struggling with emotions and we got to be aware. Now, before we go into the 
music therapy segment i wanted to share with you guys my lyric of the week this week and it is a j cole song that he just released because drake and kanye west and all of them just dropped albums around the same time so people want to start franzies people want to start little pick fights little little bicker fights or whatever that's what i call it and it just it's cute but that's all that is and i just want to just go ahead and quote a couple things from this ep because this ep definitely did touch me it spoke volumes to me i mean this single and i like that in one of the verses he says that's raw never saw one person go to Yale, but every nigga that I, that I know done gone to jail. And for the pains, we smoke three blunts the size of tree trunks. And I think he said something about the passion, the passion will fulfill. But regardless of the point, those, those lyrics really stood out to me. I was brought up in a minority area where everyone that I went to school with either dropped out or had a kid in high school. So (laughs) it just speaks volumes to me. And I've seen so many of those people run away and smoke the pain away, drink the pain away, fuck the pain away, hide the pain away. Like (laughs) it's just crazy. And there's an album that really does help with, with addictions and J Cole is the person who wrote that album called KOD. So if you're a person who's struggling with an addictive personality and you're looking for a song that can better express that or help you cope with it, I really suggest you listen to KOD. The album by J. Cole came out in 2016, 2015, sometime around there. Very aware, spreading awareness in addiction, all kinds of addiction, social media addiction, how to cope with it and why we run to it. And it just, it's just a beautiful project really helped me in a lot of dark times. So yeah, take a listen. Now on to our music therapy segment. Last week I was a part of this music video. It was so much fun. And the person who made it all happen is Stream Lagoon, who is friends with Guns, who, Guns, if you guys don't know who Guns is, he is an artist and podcaster, as well as father and a full-time worker out here following and chasing his dreams. He's also planning on doing videography very soon, so catch him. Also a part of the Jersey Media crew. So, Joe Fugarino, head of Jersey Media, which is where I'm recording, recorded this and directed this whole entire music video for the fellas. I was a part of it as well. So you guys are going to see me, you know, as a little extra, you know, a little, a little actress. But yeah, so just go ahead and watch that on YouTube. It's on the Jersey Media page on YouTube. And you guys can go ahead and, you know, Drop some gems, drop what you feel, if you liked it, if you don't, that's what it's all about. It's about supporting small businesses, right? So here it goes, without nothing. Yo, Jesus, wake up, man. What you sleeping for? Oh, oh, what happened? Oh, oh, man, what's the blunt? What's the blunt? Oh. Yo, you working, right? You getting paid for this, right? Yo, I don't Yo, really get paid like that. I gotta get out of here, man. Let me get a chat cheese. Chat cheese? I, I, wait, hold on a second. Let me see what I got. I, uh, did it, uh, no, yo, I need, I need some uh, ground beef, bro. I, I got no chachis for you, bro. So what do you have? What do you have? Uh, I got a uh, uh, spaghetti con pan. Spaghetti con pan? Who eats that? Bro, that's nasty, but I don't want no spaghetti con pan. Oh, nah, you killing me right Come now. Come on, bro, I got you. Nothing. Yo, I'm out of here, man. Yo, man, don't go, man. Where you going, bro? Come back. Come back, man. Get up there. Yo, what happened? Oh, man. You woke me up anyway. You gonna No tengo que me de un consuelo. Me buscaré otro cariño que me haga olvidar mi pena. Que si otro amor no consigo, mejor será que me muera. Yo ya no, yo ya no. I ain't even got nobody here to love me. Here to love me. Living in the city and it's getting ugly. Getting ugly. I just wanna move away, living life.
lovely. Living lovely. I wanna eat good, yeah, getting chubby. Half Puerto Rican, well past, they sort of reaching. Got the 40 squeezing them blast before they speaking. We in bro with the 44 and a quarter even. We in front of them corner stores and they know the reason. Shout outs to the poppy store. A bacon, nigga, cheese, why I ain't get kicked out before? The cops come and go and poppy go and lock the door. They trying to murder me and I know you been hot before, yeah. Yo ya no tengo quien me quiera No tengo quien me dé un consuelo Yo ya no, yo ya no Shout out to papi at the corner store uh, Tengo la sazón, even when I run, tengo la razón uh, Ella está adicta, she says she like it pure uh, No puede estar solita A ella le gusta la gasolina uh, A mí me gusta como me mira Papi got the heavy accent when he's speaking Escuchando esa salsa Pásame la malta y coronita Mira como baila de Puerto Rico Pa' el callao En la calle el elemento raro Que vivo en México 5 de mayo Eso papi ya no play around Buscaré otro cariño Que me haga olvidar mis venas Si otro amor no consigo Mejor será que me muera Yo ya no, yo ya no Consuelo Once again It's guys Uh God damn it This be that bodega music I'm talking using EBT to get a hot sandwich So icy Look like I wanna scratch off Mommy spicy Puerto Rican pica sauce Meet me at the corner Keep your head on the swivel Sipping cream soda No drama Oh it's a goza Peacemaker like Tony Toca Hey I got next on the domino Gotta do it for culture right We got coronas No virus though Hold your flag up the highest Jersey feel like the high stove And you know poppy Got packs around No rats allowed That's why they got them cats in the owl That was actually so much fun, bro. Like, I had a great time doing the whole. And shout out to the models that did it with me. Like, you guys are amazing. But yeah, that was great. I love it. Now, the next artist is Flo Kid. I found him on IG. I just like his sound. I like the difference and the awareness that he's spreading as a rapper. Maybe he's just a full on artist, but he dropped a single before this song and that's the latest single that he has out but that's not the one i'm sharing i'm sharing one that drops august 1st and that one is called surf side it just really spoke out to me i like the 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 boom the cats the lyrics i just feel like it was just so my vibe so hope you guys enjoy it here goes uh, and it be safe, listen, well, hey, I ain't never seen one like me, whether work then back on my knees, uh, I ain't never seen a thing on my knees, hold it down, then you on my team, uh, pain ain't a problem to me, pain ain't a problem to me, I ain't never seen one like me, I ain't never seen a thing on my knees, hey, I'm on the bus like I should have been a robber, Waiting weeks for a dollar Could use a little guidance But I barely had a father I'm way too broken None of these women trying to holler Man, what is going on? Poverty is not where I belong Damn, I cannot wait till I get on Got me really thinking Is it really for me? Should I bury all my dreams Six feet and carry on? Damn Ever seen a hundred grand turn to zero? Ever seen a junkie blow a kilo? Ever seen a thing that's so stuck Being famous in a hero Lifestyle so cancer But now you need a chemo Huh Oh, now he needs some help, but life goes on And every day the earth rise, even when it tumbles down Show my love to Surfside, uh Rest in peace to ones at Surfside, yeah Rest in peace to ones at Surfside, uh I show my love to Surfside, baby I show my love to Surfside, yeah I show my love to love They missed the point like a run-on sentence You running low, she gon' run off with it Damn, a couple losses could've broke my spirit I'm still here, so I don't want it 
I don't want You gotta pray, then you add a little luck Like Giannis, not a shooting for the bucks I'm black as black as red and blue with the cuffs Continue to harass, we ain't giving up You ain't one of us I ain't never seen one like me Whether work, then beg on my knees uh, I ain't never seen no one need Hold it down, then you on my team uh, Pain ain't a problem to me Pain ain't a problem to me I ain't never seen one like me. I ain't never seen a seen a funny baby. I like it. I like the vibes. I like the video. Shout out to John who made the video. And brother, just keep going, Flow Kid. Like I know you don't know me, but I like your music, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I put it on the show. But yeah, just know that this is all about how lyrics can touch and impact. And it's just, I just chose you. So yeah. Next, last but not, certainly not least. We have a brother who's been on my show before, who is a Jersey artist. And I'm just so glad I'm sharing his latest project. And it's called Survival Mode. The rise of Steve Lowe Green is the whole project. But this song that I'm sharing is called Survival Mode. And I just feel like it speaks truth to all of the people who worked and hustled their way through, worked it through the mud, out the mud. Like people who just know how it is to do and work so hard for your child, for your family, people who just won't give up even when we should. Like, I just feel like this energy and this whole entire song is for you guys, for people who don't have the strength right now to overcome what they feel is overtaking in their lives. This song it's is It's 10 o'clock. All right. Like, so what? Let me stop. <laughs> I hate when my laptop does that. But yes, here it is. Without further ado. Survival mode by Stephen Donnell. Angel whispered in my ear, he said, Your time coming. Yeah. Pull up in the whip, this from another planet. <laughs> Immaculate conception, my flow heaven sent. Over 10 years grinding, I'm a veteran. Who knew that I would be the one that go and cause this ruckus? In this white man's world, I flow like Frederick Douglass. Young and only 14 with a Mac 11. I say my grace and hit the booth, then I go back for seconds. When I was 15, still had these big dreams. Nobody knew, I just kept Pac on repeat. Hey. Ain't talking voodoo, I worked on my craft. Didn't know me then, now they hitting my line. Boy, are you signed? Boy, how you been? Homie, I see you, you doing your thing. Pull out the semi, just cock it and bang. Never been violent, just let me explain. Keep it in the stash, hit the booth and raise the heater. Black Adidas, about as dark as Don Cheeto. Sharper than a needle, I'm giving out injections. Sicker than your average, come and get infected. Yeah, yeah, trying to survive. If you look into my eyes, I'm just trying to survive. Need about a hundred racks, I'm just trying to survive. Turn the booth into a trap, I'm just trying to survive. Yeah, yeah, trying to survive. If you look into my eyes, I'm just trying to survive. Word. Get about a hundred racks, I'm just trying to survive. Hey. Turn the booth into a trap. Uh, to I know the judge wanna throw me in a cage. Hate me for my skin tone. I just wanna pull up on your block, I'm doing ten ups. Flex a little muscle for the time that I was starving. Red Ferrari Spider, I'm the black Peter Parker. Some do it for the love, some do it for the attention. I got mad clothes, I've been working on my temper. Critics say I'm nuts with the bars, have a snickers. Probably why I'm knocking in your hood, bad engine. God given, doing numbers like the Super Bowl. Put on the beat and I'ma catch it, rap Julio. I'm a menace, lyrically though I'm Kane. I got rap fiends, tapping veins with a shame. Ain't no love in my city, they'll kill you for success. I know they taking shots, ain't no need to hit the deck. They know that I'm the truth, ain't no need for me to say it. Before I leave the house, I say a prayer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, trying to survive. If you look into my eyes, I'm just trying to survive. Need about a hundred racks, I'm just trying to survive. Turn the booth into a trap, I'm just trying to survive. Yeah, yeah, trying to survive. If you look into my eyes, I'm just trying to survive. Need about a hundred racks, I'm just trying to survive. Turn the booth into a trap, I'm just trying to survive. Yeah, yeah, trying to survive. 
If you look into my eyes, I'm just trying to survive. Need about a hundred racks, I'm just trying to survive. Turn the booth into a trap, I'm just trying to survive. Uh. Yes, Stilo Green, the rise of Stilo Green out on every single platform, SoundCloud, all that jazz, YouTube, please support, support your local artists, we work hard, we do the hours, we feel, you know what I'm saying, sleepless nights and all, thank you so much for delivering that, and just, I want to thank you guys out here, just making it all possible for every single one of us creatives who are out here building projects, making sure we do some skits for you guys, content creators, singers, actors, comedians, all of the jazz, all the entertainment that we want to provide for this world so we can keep going around, so we can keep being ecstatic and happy. And if it's not, we provide that, right? But I want to thank you guys for taking some time to listen in with me to talk about emotional struggles and how to combat them and how you know you're struggling with them to express them. Also, we spoke on Dave Chappelle, current news, current matters and what's going on in this world. Still signed to drop an album. And I shared you guys at my music therapy segment. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for taking time to listen on. You guys already know where to follow this on Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, and all. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.